Good morning from Squatterville. Look what we did today. Install my air horn. So, to recap, we put an air solenoid valve down there. We took the wire from this horn. And now I have to get this air wire all the way up there. So that's what I'm working on today. The guys are working on... Well, actually, I forgot. I didn't tell you exactly what it is. But the guys are working on what will go in here. We actually changed our mind partway through. We were going to have it open a certain way. Now it's going to open another way. So it won't be a secret secret beyond today's video. All right, turns out we need to get a longer air hose. No big deal. Uh, I'm not sure if I put it on the correct side or not. Uh, for some reason, I was wanting to put it there because the airline would be shorter, and then I feel like someone said, no, don't put it there for some reason, and then I drilled the other one, and I just realized right now we have to go over that bump. The only way to do that is to go over and then up and then just like that. So I don't know why that didn't happen. Oh, I think as a front part we couldn't get through it. That's why. No big deal. We'll work that. We will work on that and finish it in a couple days. Um, it's pretty much completed. You just gotta find a fitting and then run the line up and then honk honk beep beep. We're in business. Let's go check in on the guys. See what kind of exciting welding stuff is happening today. We're gonna be cutting and welding. So we have not said what is going on, but we are cutting something badge. Can we give a little snippet, a little hint, what, what is going to on today? Is we have to center this window in the door, in the gull wing door. So uh oh, he just revealed what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is a gull wing door. door. So we're gonna center this window, but we have to cut this piece off and that rest of that line off. Because it only has to be 30 inches, right? Yep. So then we'll center this door. The gull wing door, the hinges will go here, it'll attach to the roof, and then we'll... That's a little Michael, we just revealed uh, it's a door. gull wing door. Gull now, wing do you want to... No more secrets. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, say, secrets. you sound like three well, subscribers. Well, I know, that's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now, uh, do you want to explain why we didn't go with the other idea? Which idea? Open Excellent. to the side, the Dutch door. See, no, I, did I don't know, why did we? Yeah. I think it was just a cool <laughs> idea. Uh, yeah, I think so too, actually. I think it, we were originally going to do the kind of a Dutch door opening, have it kind of open, you know, like that way. And then uh, we were just standing and we all looked at it and we were like, Yeah. A going door. What if it goes yeah. up? It just kind of made sense, right? Yeah, because yeah. now we got the the outside table that folds down and you got the, the uh, yeah. going door that goes up. So it's kind of like a little overhang or yeah, something, overhang right? Over yeah. The table. yeah. So you can sell ice cream and coffee yeah. and all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. You got. Giuseppe selling tea and Jack selling. Well, actually, coffee. we could have Ro with it yeah, stop by it, yeah. and do it out Roll the window. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then yeah. for yeah, for those perfect. people who yeah. uh, follow Nomadic uh, a Fanatic, uh, I guess people were like, oh, a taco, tacos for Eric or something. So we could put tacos in there for Eric. Yeah. We could put yeah. vegan yeah. food for you guys. Oh, wait, sorry, you guys are vegan. I'm vegan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we could put, we could do a bagel shop for Brad. Yeah. We could do like all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. So should, I think every, all of us. We should all start our own little uh, food business inside of our. Yeah, inside the of our possibilities buses. are endless, and no, yeah. it's not to um, to sell food because I know somebody's probably wondering that. We're just doing it for fun design, and you know, because Back to the Future. All right, so that uh, jigsaw thing wasn't making the straightest line, as you can see. So we're gonna play with this uh, wheel of death. We got the assist from Kaylee. Thanks. So she cut the final touches, and uh, now we're talking about reconstructing this bad boy on the inside. It's pretty hollow. Yeah, we should. Uh, what do you think? We should spray foam the thing, otherwise, we won't have any insulation. In, or uh, 
Let's jump some insulation in there. Shoot, I wish. Hey, Badge. This would make a good reality show. Just saying. Oh, yeah. We'll make a reality <laughs> show, all right. Badge, what just happened? Almost got limbed. Yeah. Almost got, almost got uh, amputated here. Yeah. Grinder jumped. Look at that. Look at that. Grinder oh, jumped out of his uh, Ooh, his cool. hands. Where's the hey. thing for the? Hey, Jax, what do you got there? Well, Jax, what do you got? This is my new. This is what's left of a handicap door when me and Michael and Badge get our hands on it. So you're really putting the handicap door back in? We're putting mentally handicapped people back inside it, but we cut the door off. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, to fit your mind. That's what it was. You cut the door to fit your... Ah! Oh, this is like a pizza delivery thing, right? And yeah, we're going to sell uh, uh, tacos out here. Tacos? To, uh, oh! Nomadic Fanatic. Oh! Do we got to get it wrapped like he did? No, probably Check not. Check it out, folks. You're seeing it here first. Well, I'm not that tall, but you can see him part of it here first. I'm going to hold it. Can we go inside? Well, they, you know, try to figure out how they're going to put it in. So what it's going to do is it's going to hinge off the top, and it's going to be a gull-wing door. Look at that, folks. Wow. You see it here first, that's a, a gull-wing door. That's a good fit. I know it's a good fit. Look at that, eh? I think we know what we're doing. Almost. 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 Look at that. Go and Kayla, you got to see this before you go to Alaska. Isn't that cool? That's <laughs> super cool. Look at that. Dude, the gull-wing cool. door. You're the Here first one to know about it. One, one of only. You know, looks I'm liking the looks of this thing. Yeah, I know, it looks cool, cool really. Yeah. So it's basically, like, we put the handicap door in. It's just a little bit smaller. Yeah, a little bit. But it actually, it, I, I feel like it, 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 it's a better size, the, uh, the frame to window size yeah. ratio. Yeah. yeah. And, and it sort of blends in. And then you'll have your table. Right here, yeah. It'll we'll fold down. That thing will fold up. It'll yeah. kind of give you a nice little water. Put little there. water thing. All right. We got the magician out here. Not me, Badge. We got the magician out here. He showed us how to remove a window. It's actually pretty cool. Pretty simple. And uh, we're gonna frame this thing up, make it all nice, happy, strong, secure, to be the best Did gullwing he, door since Back to the Future. Here? Yep. Those are cracks. That means the welds aren't holding them anymore. Yep. And this door will flex. Yep. It just flexes. He complained about the door making a whole bunch of noise coming down the road because it flexes where it's cracked here. So we're going to grind all this and re weld it. This is good stuff because yep. everybody's thinking this thing ain't moving anywhere. This was when we first brought the bus here the next day, we did this. Red dot. Cross that out. Done. Engine sensors. Done. Vehicle tank or the veggie tank you're doing tomorrow, the schematic done. The Arctic Fox, we don't need it. Veggie fuel lines, we got that. Coolant lines, we got that. The Raycor, we done that. The heat exchanger, we done that. What's this? Uh, running lights, uh, uh, that's just running 12 lights, volt. we done that. The bathroom skylight is. Oh, you gotta get that if you're gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, we gotta buy that. Yeah. LED bulbs, you gotta do. Yeah. Gray tank, you gotta do. Fresh fridge. This is all the stuff for Colorado. Yeah. Okay, ice shield, you got that. Yep, rust oleum floors, That's did that. Done. Air horn, Air done. Air filter, did tires that. done. No tight speakers out for the okay. <laughs> Scan gauge, you're not worried about that. The deck will be done. You got the deck will be done. Jake break, we're not doing that. Hey, Dean, 12 volt fans, we got one that. of them. Got yeah. That. Okay, job. Stairs and windows. We're going to cross out the floors. That's done. Yep. Ice shield, you got that. Foam insulation is going to recock the windows. Roof support for the frame. Skylight support. Skylight install. Max fan. Look at that. <laughs> We're almost down to nothing, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. We're down to nothing. We're out of here. Man, it, you know, it's funny because I felt like we were moving so slowly. Nothing was getting okay, accomplished. So but look at all the stuff we did. This is done. This is done, right? That's... Because we just got to get the tanks. The, this is... The Wabasto is done. Yep. Right? And the heater bypass is done. So that's all done. All right, Badge, give us a quick uh, explanation okay, so of what's what going on. Do here because we're doing this for the Z-Man because he'll be. What are you doing? But see, this is all rusted in there, right? Okay. And cracked. 
And what we're going to do is just cut them down. Well, we didn't really get too far today. We um, cut this uh, previous door, sized it up, and that's about as far as we got. I definitely think uh, people are feeling the frustration of not having all the ducks in a row, and I feel partly to blame for that. Well, I am to blame because I'm the orchestrator of this build, but the facts all are, I'll give you the facts, we can't order, we can't get a pump delivered that we need for the veggie conversion, and it's now week three waiting on a company, and uh, they told me Right after I contacted them before, they said, oh yeah, just a few days, we're waiting on bolts. And so that puts us in a situation where I'm relaying information to people helping me, generously helping me, thanks Mike and Batch. Um, and so I'm responsible uh, to do this. Now to back up a bit, so everyone's clear here, the veggie first veggie oil company uh, didn't really give us a lot of information didn't give us an, uh, an instruction manual so we kind of had to figure this out it wasn't until Nate who I mentioned in a previous video uh, helped us out and I really honestly should have started with him from the beginning um, but that's where the problem started is because I got things at a discount which was much appreciated but at the same time there wasn't a lot of technical support that I maybe unknowingly assumed or anticipated and we also switched things up a bit here and uh, running two pumps not one and so being in Canada is really hard because I'm gonna have to pay $125 for shipping for a pump that's exactly what my discount was from full price so the option the predicament we're in right now is that we have to leave in a, uh, 10 days or so, Michael's flying out in 10 days, and option one is wait, hope hope that this company will send me a pump, option for $500, including that $125 shipping fee, which is ridiculous, I'm, I feel for all you Canadians having to ship things from the US, it's very expensive. Uh, option two is to buy a pump up here, and we inquired about a pump, it's, two weeks ago um, about and uh, it was $1,300 I said to myself why do I want to buy something for $1,300 if I can buy it for $500 including this astronomical shipping fee so we decided to wait and uh, we're still waiting so that's where we are my right hand is getting tired of someone to switch um, also it's a, a, a challenging right because there's so many different components and parts parts and pieces to this build that were not anticipated um, pretty much every single electronics I had to buy was more expensive so we're waiting and that means that we don't have things to install along with the spray foam which is the proper way to do it because of price so just kind of like Little sticky situation so I know there were some people who were like why are you going all the way to Canada why not do it here what's wrong with America and all kinds of other things and um, I think next time I would definitely do it down there because it just it's e so much easier man we take it for granted Canada can uh, uh, Amazon Canada sucks compared to Amazon US Amazon US rocks we're, we're all spoiled and it's like kind of going back in time so it's, it's been challenging, but um, I just want to let Badge and Mike know how much I appreciate them through the challenges we've all <laughs> been through. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to try and track down a fuel tank 
and uh, try and repurpose two into one. Save, uh, I'm gonna try to save about a thousand dollars. That's how much a tank, brand new tank costs in uh, US dollars. And uh, from once the oil's up and running, uh, if I fi find the oil for free, then it doesn't cost me a cent. If I have to buy it off somebody, uh, could be like a buck a gallon. So that's the reason why I'm doing this is uh, to be able to stay on the road. Um, so just wanted to share some of the <laughs> uh, less than glamorous things behind the scenes here. Uh, when you're building your own bus, these are the things that people don't really tell you. These are the experiences that you go through. And uh, this is current reality. So, see you in the next video.